October 16th to the Play for a Cure field hockey tournament. Our goal is to raise $10,000 for breast cancer research. Sign up next Wednesday during chat to play in the tournament. Both teachers and students are welcome. Come out to support your fellow Patriots by signing up to play, coming to watch, and donating. Go, Go Patriots! Patriots! I'm Katie, and I want to tell you about the AHS Avid Fundraiser this Saturday. When you buy a book at Barnes & Noble anytime on Saturday, 15% of that book purchase will benefit the AHS Avid program. Avid students will be at Barnes & Noble to thank you in person between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. You can also buy books online with this code. For those who don't know, the Avid program supports students who are the first in their family to go to college by building study skills and confidence in those students. So come to Barnes & Noble this Saturday, September 19th. Buy a book, support a young scholar, it's a win-win situation. Greetings, peers. My name is Ethan, and here are the announcements for Friday, September 18th. AVID is hosting a car wash at ALC Copies on Barracks Road on September 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Come out and support them and get your car washed. Donations are welcome. Attention to Albemarle teachers, students, and families. Albemarle High School takes pride and is known for both their outstanding athletic teams and their positive sportsmanship. Our varsity volleyball team is currently enrolled in a sportsmanship contest hosted by Med Express, and they need your vote. Winning this contest will award the team a sportsmanship banner plus $2,000. With your votes, our volleyball team could bring this deserving recognition. The deadline is September 20th. Please take a minute to vote and spread the word to your friends, students, and family members. Let's show our Patriot pride. Last night, the Albemarle volleyball team beat Orange to a pulp in three straight sets. The team remains undefeated and plays at home on Monday against Charlottesville. Come out and support them. Attention club and honor society advisors. If you would like to participate in the 2015 homecoming tailgate, please send a representative to the student council office to pick up a packet. Parking spaces will be on a first come, first serve basis. If you have any questions, please contact Lucas Hobson. <clears throat> the golf team beat Fluvanna but lost to Eastern View. Brogan Ezell with a 41 and Jack Robbins with a 42 were our top scores. The team is now 13-1 in district play and 14-3 and overall. Attention students, this Friday's home football game theme is Camo Out. Come out and support the varsity football team as they take on Patrick Henry. The AHS staff pregame tailgate will be on the tennis courts from 6 to 645. Bring your family and join us for a little fun and free food prior to the 7 p.m. kickoff. The rain site will be the cafeteria. Now here's Jack with the newest issue of the Patriot Report. to this week's edition of the Patriot Report. My name is Jack and we're here with Coach Isaiah. Coach, what can you tell us about the win off of Kettle Run last week? Well, winning just feels great. You know, it's always good to get a win. Uh, it is hard to get a win when you're playing tough teams. Uh, so I was really proud of the guys and, you know, how they responded. You know, we had a tough game the week before against Brookville. So for those guys to come out in front of the home crowd and uh, have a good performance, uh, it was a good feeling. Uh, who are the stars of the game for you or the standouts? Um, you know, I always had to take my hat off to our defense. You know, they played a really good game. They only gave up seven points. Uh, the Comet, Taquan Rose, had a big kickoff return to start the game off. Uh, and, and probably the most person I'm proud of is uh, Jamal Thompson. You know, he's a he's a junior, new guy to varsity. And a uh, starting running back got hurt, I think, maybe like the first play of the game. You know, so for him to come off the bench and uh, pretty much have close to 100 yards rushing and a touchdown, uh, I think it sparked our win in a major way. So I was really pleased and excited to watch him perform. Just so happens we have Jamal here with us today. Jamal, how do you come off the bench and have that big of a game? Well, coach always tells us to be ready for anything, for any situation. And I credit my offensive line for like their blocking and our receivers and everything because I couldn't get nowhere else. But yeah, coach called my number and I had to step up to the plate. All right, coach, you have Patrick Henry coming up. What can you tell us about your strategies for this upcoming game? Uh, we're just going to work on doing the things that we do. Uh, Patrick Henry is a, has a really athletic team. They have a really athletic and explosive quarterback. 
So we're going to really work on being disciplined, being in the right place. Uh, I have no doubt in my defense and their ability. You know, it's just about us as a staff putting them in the place to make the plays on Friday and those kids actually working hard all through the week. So we're just going to work on being disciplined, being fast, and being physical and, uh, you know, see how things turn out Friday. All right. Jamal, what's that you're playing with there? Hey, Coach. All right. So these here are what we call thunder sticks. So I ordered them last week. Uh, they came in a little late. My plan was to sell them to everybody in the school during chat. Uh, so what we're going to do is at the gate Friday, we're going to ask everybody to buy one, buy one pair. All right. These things are made to bang and make a whole lot of noise. All right. My vision for this is to have the whole student section to have these banging and making a whole lot of noise on Friday. Uh, you don't have to be in the student section to buy a pair, but we really like to uh, get everybody to buy these. We're going to sell them for $2 a pair, which isn't much. So if you guys could come out and support Friday, uh, bring your thunder sticks. If you have some, if not, you can buy them or anything that can make noise. All right, that is appropriate. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys this Friday, and hopefully we can continue uh, to have such a great crowd as we had last week. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Jamal, thank you for being here. I'm Jack, and join us next week for the Patriot Report. That's all for now. Have a great day.